Usually, people do bad things out of anger and disappointment. Frustration is the root cause of many interpersonal relationship issues like betrayal, cheating, lying, bullying, shaming, manipulation, etc. When a person is frustrated, it means that they're upset or annoyed because they are unable to change or achieve something. In other words, they lack something they wish, whether it is money, their dream house, their dream job, a spouse, a child, a talent, a certain achievement, and many other things that they think will make them happy. A lot of people are unhappy, thus frustrated, also because their strong sense of entitlement. They believe they deserve more than they already have and failing to achieve the things they want will get them even more frustrated. This can happen to anyone. Our repressed anger and envy will hurt the people around us in many, many ways. And in most cases, we are not even aware that our bad behavior is the result of frustration. Evilness is strongly linked to frustration, in my opinion. Let us not forget that Lucifer, the most beautiful and intelligent angel in heaven, became the devil because of his envy, because he wanted to take God's place. He wanted more. I'm not implying that all of us who want to achieve something are inherently bad. The evil behavior is the effect of a deeper level of frustration. We can want something without becoming frustrated at least not in a noxious way. In fact, a certain amount of frustration can be beneficial to our personal growth. But when we subconsciously program ourselves to believe that we cannot be happy without that particular thing, whether it is money, love, children, fame, a university degree, an academic title, and so on, then our natural desires can become obsessions that affect the quality of our life. I've met so many people who believed they couldn't be happy unless they achieved a certain title, a PhD for instance. But once they got their PhD, they still weren't happy because they found another thing they didn't have, like let's say a talent for sculpting, being able to play the piano or being a YouTube celebrity with millions of followers. We are socially programmed to believe that what we don't have, what we cannot have, or what is difficult to achieve can bring us the happiness we've been seeking all our lives. And we have to do all we can to obtain those things. So every day, from the moment we wake up in the morning, we actively choose to be unhappy. Because no matter how much we already have, there will always be something we lack. Maybe we have a loving spouse and a stable job, but we are not movie stars or best-selling authors. Maybe we have a smart, healthy child, but she cannot sing and will not become the next Celine Dion as we imagined, and she will never have the dream life we wanted for ourselves. And we are so frustrated about it, we fail to see she's very good at math and might become an aerospace engineer and work for NASA in the future, who knows? Or on the contrary, she sings so well she might become the next Celine Dion, but we want her to work for NASA. Choose to be happy with what you already have today, no matter who you are, or what you do, or your age. If you say, I'm 40 years old and I don't have certain achievements, you're relating to a pattern that might not suit you. Shift your perspective. Life has a balance. Those who have what you want might not have what you already have. Maybe they're rich, but they're not healthy. Maybe they have children, but a cheating spouse. Maybe they have the talent we wish for ourselves, but they don't have our skills, our abilities. We can never have everything and that's perfectly fine. Be happy and grateful for what you have.